Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Sileti. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 5.20 from the chapter number 5. The problem is design the sequential circuit specified by the state diagram of figure 5.9 using tip flip flops. We have to design the sequential circuit of figure 5.19. This figure is from the inside of the chapter 4 edition book. Then we have to use the flip flops for designing this. So this is the figure 5.19 from the chapter. Here we have 4 states 00, 01, 10 and 11 and we have the input values are given. So 0, 0, 0, 0 these are the input values 1, 1. So from this first of all we have to find out the state table and after finding out state table we have to find out the state equations. After that we can design the circuit. Now let us start with the state table. So here we have to write present state input next state then we have to find out the flip-flop inputs suppose the two flip-flops are a and b so we'll write so present state as a and b okay input is denoted by suppose x and next state is a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 okay and the flip-flop inputs that will be t a and t b because we know that in case of t flip-flops only we have one input so for this present state and input, we'll have 8 combinations. So we'll have 0, 0, 0. So these are the present states and inputs. Now we'll find out the next states from the state diagram. So from this state diagram, we can see that from 0, 0, when the input is 0, it goes to 0, 1 state. So when input is 0, it goes to 0, 1 state. When the input is 1, from 0, 0, there is a transition to 0, 0 itself. For one input, we have transition from 0, 0 to 0, 0. So that means it remains in the same state. Next we have the present state is 0, 1, the input are 0, 1, 1. So from 0, 1, when input is 0, it goes to next state 1, 1. So when input is 0, it goes to 1, 1. When input is 1, it will go to 1, 0, 1, 0 state. Where from 0 1 when input is 1 it will go to next state 1 0 here we have to write 1 0 next we have present state is 1 0 and input is 0 from 1 0 present state when input is 0 it goes to next state 1 1 so it will go to 1 1 then we have input is 1 from 1 0 when input is 1 it remains in the same state that is the next state will be 1 0 1 0 and finally we have this 1 1 state from 1 1 state when input is 0 it will go to the 0 0 next state and when it is 1 it remains in the same state so here we will have 0 0 and 1 1 it remains in the same state for input 1 so we have got this present state and next state for the state diagram. Now we have to find out this TA and TB using the excitation table of the flip flop. So excitation table, excitation table of T flip flop. So here we'll have present state, next state Q of T plus 1 and respective input we have to find out. For the present state and next state 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay, I am drawing here the excitation table. So for present state 0 and next state 0, we have T, T flip flop input is 0. For present state 0, 1 and next state 1, we will have 1. And similarly for this one also, it will have 1. And for 1, 1, that is present state 1 and next state 1, we have 0. So we have to use this excitation table of T flip flop for finding out this. T A and T B values. For T A, we have to see the this A column and A of T plus one column. So first of all, we have zero zero. So for zero zero, we'll have T A will be zero. So it will be zero. So zero zero again. So it will be zero. Next we have zero one. For zero one, we have one. For zero one again, it will be one. Then we have 1 1 for 1 1 we have 0 and for 1 1 it will be 0 then 1 0 it will be 1 and 1 1 it is 0 that means you have to see this first column and this fourth column that is we have to see this present state and the next state of the a flip flop 
okay next we have to see the present state and next state of the b flip flop and from that we have to find out the respective tb values so first of all we have 0 1 so it will be 1 0 0 it will be 0 1 1 it is 0 so 1 0 it will be 1 0 1 it will be 1 so 0 0 0 for this 1 and 0 we will have this value 1 so, so now we have to make the KMFs for TA and TB and from that we will find out the expression for TA and TB. KMF for TA. So we will have a three variable map. And the inputs are A, B and X. X is the input. A and B are the present state. So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0 and 1. So here we have to put the values of TA. So here we have TA is 00110010. Okay, so we have to fill up now. 00110010. So this will be one term and this will be the second term. So TA is equal to, so from this term we'll have A bar and from these two columns we'll have B. Plus from this one we'll have B X bar. B X bar. Okay, so we have got the expression for T A. T A is A bar B plus B X bar. Now we have to find out the K map for T B. K map for T B. So here also we'll have three variable map. Now here we have to put the values of T B. So T B we have 1001010. 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 so this will be one term next will be this one term and the third term will be this one so here we'll have tb is equal to so from this one we'll have b bar x bar b bar x bar plus from this term we'll have this is a x bar a x bar plus for this one we'll have a bar bx a bar bx so we have got the expression for ta and tb now we'll use this equation of ta and tb to draw the circuit here we'll have one input input is x so this one is suppose input line x next we'll have an inverter and here we'll have x complement okay here we'll have two ta flip flops suppose this one is one T A Q Q bar. Okay. So here we'll have a clock. So this is A, A complement. Another T flip flop. Because we have to use here T flip flop as per the question. Okay. So here we'll have T B. So this is the input. Here we'll have clock signal. So these clocks are connected together. C L O C K. This is clock. Then we'll have here normal output. It is B and complemented output. It is B bar. Now we have to use these equations for T A and T B inputs. Okay. So T A is A bar B plus B X bar. So let me first draw the this output lines towards the input. So this is line A. Suppose this one line is A bar. Okay. Next we'll have this line B. is b and suppose we have the another line b bar suppose this one is the b bar line b bar now for ta we have a bar b plus bx bar so a bar b it will be one line from a bar one line from b you say and get at the output you will get a bar b then we have bx bar so take a line from b Take a line from x bar, use and gets, here we will get b x bar. Okay, now we have to add this because we have addition. So we have to use a or get. So these two will be the inputs. So we have realized the first expression. Now we have to find out tb. This equation we have to implement here. Okay, so tb is first of all b bar x bar. So b bar x bar 
you say n get here will get b bar x bar next we have a x bar so take a line from a take a line from x bar okay use n get and i will get a x bar next we have a bar b x so take a line from a bar take a line from b and one from x so this is a tray input and get it will get a bar b x okay now we have to add this tree here we'll get this tb so this will be connected to tb so this is the required circuit design using t flip-flops thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you